Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video I want to showcase one of my favorite loadouts for the past two seasons and the most requested loadout on my Instagram the OTS this loadout doesn't really have the best killing time it doesn't have the best hip fire accuracy and what's even worse it has the lowest mag size among all SMGs. So why is it one of my favorites? And why did I say that it's Shotgunner's worst nightmare? Well, because there are two things that makes it deadly. First of all, the sprint to fire delay. From all the SMGs I've tested so far, the OTS has the lowest sprint to fire delay. And if you don't know what that means, I made a full video explaining it in details. And I highly recommend you check it out. But basically, it's the delay you get between you pressing the shooting button and when the gun actually starts shooting after a sprint, which gives you a head start over the enemy. That combined with the fast movement speed that allows you to dance and dodge enemy bullets more efficiently. So as long as you have an extender mag, this gun is extremely deadly and fun to use. And you know what else is fun? Raid Shadow Legends. One of the most downloaded and most addictive games on mobile. As you battle your way through an insane and beautiful fantasy RPG realm with hundreds of champions to choose from. And what makes this game addictive is the fact that the devs are working so hard to always bring new fun content to keep the players entertained, including the live arena PvP. And to know more about this, I'll introduce you to Professor Death Knight, one of the many champions in Raid Shadow Legends. Please go ahead, Professor. Professor Death Knight here with a lesson about Live Arena, the new PvP mode where you can fight against other players in real time. <gasps> Sounds terrifying? Well, so's going to the dentist. You should still do it. Live Arena has a draft feature where you can pick and ban champions to fight for you. <laughs> Teamwork. When you win matches, you'll get Live Arena crests towards unlocking special area bonuses or so I hear. I'm too afraid to try any of this out. All right, class. Any questions? Yes, please. I have a couple questions for you. First of all, I'm curious to know what you feel about banning champions in Live Arena. I hate it. I wish everybody could play. Back in school, I would always get picked last. This is just like when someone pointed at me and said, you can't even play and your bones look weird. But you know, rules are rules. So. I totally agree and I'm sorry to hear about your school experience. That must have sucked for you. Okay, for the second question, I wonder what your battle strategy is for Live Arena. Well, everyone thinks I'll go in fighting, but nobody expects my charm. My best strength is the gift of gab. So when they try to attack, I'll just be like, nice weather we're having, eh? Nobody will see it coming. Thank you so much for making the time to answer my questions and help new players learn about Live Arena. So what are you waiting for? Download Raid Shadow Legends and check out the Call of the Arbiter limited series. And a bunch of new content including a free legendary champion, Artak. And it's so easy to get these rewards. All you have to do is log in into Raid for 7 days between now and the 24th of July. And if you're new to the game, then make sure to use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get some insane bonuses to help you get started in the game. Including the Epic Knight Errant, 200,000 silver, 4 energy refills, 1 epic skill tome, and 1 day XP booster. Now, let's go through the stats of this build so that you know what to expect from it. Starting with the fire rate, the OTS fires 857 rounds per minute. As for the range, the first range goes from 0 to 9 meters. And for a gun this small, that's a good range. As for the second range, it goes from 9 meters to 18 meters. And here are the killing times at both ranges. As I mentioned, they're not the best, but they're fast enough to make it efficient. Moving on to the hipfire accuracy, it has 18 initial accuracy before you start shooting and as you keep shooting it goes up to 63 max accuracy, which is honestly kind of bad compared to other SMGs. But with the help of a hipfire mod, you should be good. Next, we have the movement speed. And as I mentioned, it's another thing that makes the OTS powerful as it has 5.11 meters per second movement speed. As for the max size, this build will give you 40 bullets. And if you play aggressively, then I highly recommend you use it only when you find at least a green mag. After that, we have the reload time. So this gun reloads within 1.38 seconds. We also have the recoil, and you can clearly see that it mostly has vertical recoil, which shouldn't be hard to control at close range with hip fire. And finally, the sprint to fire delay with only 55 milliseconds delay. And as I mentioned, it's the lowest among all the SMGs I've tested so far. Now let's move on to the gameplay. It was a perfect game because not only I'll be showing you the loadout OTS, but I'll also show you the power of the ground loot OTS. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Enemy eliminated. 
That's the biggest issue with the OTS. Even though I hit most of my shots, including few headshots, it was still not enough to knock him down. So I only recommend using it when you find an extender mag. Otherwise, it's not worth it. This is perfect. I got refitter class from the enemy I killed, and then I found a purple extender mag. At this point, it was GG. This combo makes me so confident, I feel like I have the biggest balls in the lobby. And I can take out anyone. Five teams.
coming. Deploy. I highly recommend trying this loadout. As I said, it's not the best SMG, but the sprint to fire delay and the fast movement speed makes it a great choice. First of all, for players with high ping and second of all, to counter enemies at close range and surprise them with a head start. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to check Raid Shadow Legends and use my link if you're new to the game. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.